really explain it, to be honest. I'm kind of, it's only like the fourth or fifth day that I've been here, but it's starting to become more real. I mean, I'm waking up every morning realizing that I'm in the Olympic Village, so it's becoming real, but it's just an amazing feeling. I'm so happy to be here. We, um, we had GS this morning and the snow is great. Um, we had two days of slalom previously and I can't like say anything bad about it. It's been perfect. The snow is really different to what we had in Europe, so it's good that we're actually here a few days early before my events because it's taking some getting used to, but no, it's really good up there. Well, I had the, the really early session this morning, so it was pretty good. I, I'm sure that they would have been feeling it by the 12 p.m. session, but early was good. Um, they've definitely, it's, it's really warm enough that they could salt the snow, so even if it does get too warm, I don't think it will ever be a problem that it's going to be just deteriorating too quickly. What time's your event on? Um, I have a night event, and I also have a morning yeah. event, so yeah. I'm not too worried. They've got so many course workers and they have so many options to go through that I think it'll be fine. I still have a few days, so I don't think I'm at the jittery phase yet, but it's coming. But I just have to know that this is, I mean, this is a big deal, but it's no different to any of my other events. I just need to remember that, that I'm still just racing like for myself, for Australia, but there's more people watching. I don't think so. I, I felt safe the minute I got here. I don't, I'm, I, I'm sure there's a bit of a media hype around it, but I've never felt threatened or anything. And, there is so much going on and there's so much police like, and just officials everywhere that I don't think you could really feel unsafe.